caballeros, muy buenas tardes a todos, bienvenidos a un nuevo, una nueva actualización mensual de la Victoria 3, actualización de, entiendo, septiembre, ¿vale? Vamos allá, hay nuevas imágenes y tal en estos vídeos, así que siempre mola verlo. Hola. My name is Sana and I'm part of the community team for Victoria and in this video we'll be covering internal politics. Okay. Esta, standard of living. Bueno, lo que queremos ver aquí son las nuevas imágenes, ¿vale? No nos preocupamos mucho por qué dicen en cada eh, parte, sinceramente, por lo siguiente. Y es que ya hemos cubierto los diarios de desarrollo, ¿vale? Ya hemos visto los vídeos. Aquí vamos a buscar el content, chicos. As it measures just how high the quality of life is of people who live in your country. It is a metric that's measured. Oh, yes, standard of life in Mexico. Vale. Um, okay, la gente está pasando las putas, chicos. Um, dice que los servicios son muy caros, el transporte es muy caro. <ríe> y los muebles de lujo son caros. Bueno, son muebles de lujo. ¿no? Es lo suyo. Vale, chicos. This has some pretty interesting implications mm. because if you have a pretty high birth rate, Clérigos, but you bueno, creo que son administradores, ¿no? Sunis, turcos, eran. Ahora las veremos tranquilamente, no os preocupéis. Ojo, campesinos ortodoxos rumanos. Tío, qué majos. Cómo se ven ya los modelos. Madre mía, qué chulo. Ingenieros ortodoxos búlgaros. Estos pavos se dejaban... ¿Os habéis fijado que se dejaban como mogollón de pasta en droga, tío? If you can keep a solid standard of living and wealth base in your country, your economy will get naturally larger. Wealth will determine the pop's base political strength, so how much influence it can wield even not taking any laws and voting rights and things like that. Into Tío, me mola un montón su barba. Si os fijáis es como súper todo alineado, tío. Y la mía hace en plan... Es una barba cuidada, eh, chicos. Estándar de vida en el Imperio Otomano, un poco mejor, peor que en México, eh. Hechos. Hechos constatados, chicos. That can be consumed, whereas luxury food, you will be looking for uh, groceries, fruit, and meat. In addition, pops don't always make rational purchase decisions. There are uh, obsessions and taboos that pops may have as a result of their culture. Tío, esto va a ser muy chulo, eh, las obsesiones y los tabúes. You as a player muy, muy may choose to encourage consumption of a certain good or discourage it. If your major rival is uh, trying to export something to you. Uf. 
political movements or mass movements in your country la música push for or against certain laws a political movement can have support from various places in your country Mola, and your interest groups and there are three principal types of political movements movements to enact is your people demanding the passage of a specific law perhaps expanded work Tío, qué chula la canción. A to preserve is your pops pushing back against a law you are trying to pass and defend the law that it is replacing the political movement to restore is very similar to a movement to enact but it's about bringing back something that has been lost perhaps restoring the monarchy after you overthrew it to make a republic the power of a movement depends on who is supporting it and how powerful they are a movement that's supported by a vast mass of people out in the streets clamoring for it is going to be a lot more powerful Pio. than the one that is highlight this la musica eh? handful of people no matter how well connected they are the other important property of political movements is their radicalism the radicalism score shows how willing the movement is to use non-peaceful methods up to and including plotting a civil war to force the country to accede to their demands a movement becomes radicalized if it's supported by a lot of radical pops perhaps because your standard of living just took a dive and now your pops are unhappy and they want change and also if it is supported by angry interest groups who are for whatever reason upset with what the government has been doing or not doing lately pops can also become radical as a result of being part of a political movement whose demands are being ignored although it is by no sure means that the political movement will be around forever as if it's not strong enough to maintain viability it might just fizzle out on its own there's also an effect on pop loyalty and radicalism if you actually do what the movement wants as of course if pops are out there yelling for something and just give it to them they will become happy sinceramente voy estando cada vez más hipeado tío por el victoria 3 tío me parece que va a ser superior en muchos aspectos al Victoria 2, tío. Sin duda, eh. Plan, creo que le va a pasar un poco... O sea, creo que va a ser una me versión mejorada en cualquier caso de lo que había en Victoria 2. O, si es being defended, will be more difficult to replace. Political movements do come in many shapes and forms. Now, our next topic is one of the most significant political issues of the Victorian era. Slavery. Vale. Slavery is a heavy topic and one that we had to consider carefully how we wanted to handle in Victoria 3 since we didn't feel that it was something we could simply exclude from a game that is meant to be about claro. every single person on planet Earth. O sea, supongo que los temas sensibles del Joy 4 sí que son más evitables, que hay gente como que le echa mierda, tío, paradox por esto. Pero sinceramente the causes creo que la esclavitud no era tan evitable people who lived under mola porque están como esqueléticos los personajes qué chulo esto de slavery and slave pops are defined by esclavitud en la compañía de indias orientales chicos como esclavos en brasil sí que había esclavos en brasil tío derive economic benefits from using slave labor they don't have to pay the slaves wages they don't have to Son todo pros, ¿no? Que te trabajen los esclavos. causing those pops to leave their place of work and as they can grow quite rich from the profits from these buildings, they have a vested interest in defending slavery. These economic benefits do not claro, si es, tienes una sociedad muy esclavista, no van a querer que abolas la esclavitud. Slaves do not pay taxes. And unless you have a robust tax system that is able to extract the wealth of the rich pops owning the slaves, the government isn't going to see any of the money that they are bringing in. Slavery is an incredibly violent system. Fuerte, eh? ¿Qué es esto? Violence ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Turmoil. Entrada, entrada en el jornal. Propietarios de esclavos paranoicos. El malestar que originalmente activó la paranoia parece que se ha calmado de alguna manera, pero el temor de una revuelta persiste. 
Un bajo nivel de malestar entre los esclavos en algunos estados ha causado que los propietarios de los esclavos empiecen a preocuparse sobre posibles revueltas de esclavos. ¿Pero esto qué es, tío? ¿Estos son como eventos, tío? No sabemos cómo van a ser los eventos en Big Data 3 y dijeron que eh, iba a ser una cosa distinta a lo que estábamos acostumbrados. O sea, parece que es como un... ¿Qué coño? Esto es el periódico, tío. Esto es el periódico, ¿no? Esto es el periódico, yo creo, tío. Slaves aren't just going to accept being slaves. And a country that wishes to maintain its slave system is going to have to Qué fuerte. El periódico es como típica cosa que es fácil que hagan mejor en Victoria 3 que en Victoria 2. Opposition in the form of the abolitionist movement. Abolitionism comes both in the form of interest groups that are opposed to slavery. Mario Fragoso <risa> Bigotez Eso es que tiene un bigote Inconmensurable, chicos Nah, creo que Bigotez es como fanático O algo así, ¿vale? Que nadie se enfade American system of slavery, but the fact that slavery was a worldwide practice in different forms across the entire globe. There are different stances that countries have on slavery, and changing that stance requires changing a law. Naturally, a lot of countries, especially the more industrialized ones, start the game with slavery simply being abolished and it being legal to own other people in that country. Some other countries, such as Ottomans, have the slave trade law, which means that they can participate in the global slave trade and bring in slaves from decentralized regions in the world. Now our next topic deals with Eso es chulo. Ha dicho como que los otomanos son un país esclavista y por tanto como que sus leyes le permiten traer esclavos de países no centralizados, en plan África, supongo, ¿no? Principalmente. Supongo que en Asia habrá algo también por centralizar. El Estado. Centro neurálgico. We're actually talking about two different concepts. There's the no, geographic las regiones, ¿eh? concept of state region, uh, which is a set of provinces on a map that has a certain amount of resources. Yes. Within a state region, there can be one or more political units that are owned Tío, by... Me gusta the mucho el mapa, eh, cómo se ve, tío. Example, in the state region of Rhine, Esos mapas se ven bien, tío. El mapa de terreno states, no me convencía mucho, la verdad. This political unit is what you as the player interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of the time, you will be dealing with el, incorporated states. El Amazonas states colombiano. That, uh, your people and your country considers to be colombiano, sí, claro, claro. territory and where their institutions have an effect. Whereas unincorporated states could be the results of expanding your frontiers or aggressively uh, conquering territory from another nation. Should you come into possession of such a state, you can choose to incorporate it. Perdón. But once that's done, you can't go back. Aragón, Aragón, Aragón. Aragón. In state regions to be their natural homelands. These homelands are eh? easier for the country to incorporate should they come into possession of them. Another aspect of state regions is to determine the geographic conditions that might provide bonuses or malices to the states within that state region. Vale, luego vamos a buscar esa imagen, ¿eh? That could include, for example, particularly good soils that give all the states uh, increased agricultural output. Uh, or no las surgales, sudeste de Gales, ¿no? Tiene recursos por descubrir. El sur de Australia. Plan petróleo y tal, ¿no? limits the amount of farms that you can construct. It will also determine how many iron mines you can build depending on the amount of iron deposits there and whether or not you can build coffee plantations or tea plantations. Not all of these resource potentials are known at the start of the game. There might be resources that are discovered as the game progresses. For example, gold or oil that could drastically change the economic balance in your country and that's states but what might make our pops want to move in between different states our next topic is migration when we're talking about migration what we are talking about is the movement of pops between states in victoria 3. intermarket migration is primarily driven by economic needs 
Pops will tend to move from places with the lowest places with the high standard of living if they think that they can pick up a job that will improve their material conditions. Discrimination plays a part as well in migration as Pops are obviously not keen to move from places where they are enjoying full citizen rights to a place where they would become second class citizens. Mass migrations happen as a result of widespread turmoil in a culture which can be because that culture is against in the place va a ser muy chulo también, ¿eh? or especially if they're suffering from poor economic migración inglesa a Tracia la cruzada chavales during a mass migration las cruzadas the culture will select a place in the world where they believe that they can make a new life for themselves and large numbers of pops of that culture will Atracción be moving to that place and the surrounding areas such as the widespread migration of Europeans to the new world as a result of economic hardship poor harvest enviar migrantes en California bueno era nevada eso creo al mercado mexicano ¿eh? interesante policy. perhaps looking to attract skilled workers for their factories or wanting to maintain political control by minimizing all forms of migration both internal and external and so we have reached the end of yet another monthly Chicos, update video Chicos, precioso, eh? Sobre todo las ba la banda sonora, tío, se me están cayendo los pantalones, os lo juro, tío. Y me gusta porque no han hecho lo que estaban haciendo con Crusader Kings 3 de hacer música, sonidos ambientes y tal, sino que son canciones, tío. Let's fucking go. Pinta muy, muy, muy bien. Me voy a echar un vistazo a, la, a, a algunas cositas de estas. Ahí está. Aragón. Lo ha conquistado Francia. No. No. Ay. ¿Por qué? Trágico. Trágico, chicos. Migración inglesa. Nah, creo que lo hemos visto todo, ¿no? No hay mucho más que destacar. Eso es lo que lo... hay personas... O sea, un líder político puede tener como su ideología, así que eso se aplica un poco al país. Eso es muy chulo también. Mario Fragoso, ¿eh? Un montón de... De contenido brasileño y tal. Y americano en general. Estándar de vida en el Imperio Otomano, que es peor. Que el de México que hemos visto al principio. A ver si os lo puedo enseñar el de México. Uh... Se había visto. Aquí creo que es. Es de 942 en México. Y en Pedro Tomás es de 832. Orgullo mexicano, chicos. Orgullo mexicano. Chicos, poco más que decir. Nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. Chao, chao.